Hey gang, hey friends, hey gang friends, welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new here then hello, hey, hi, welcome, put the oil in the basket. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff and nail stuff and stuff and nails and nails and stuff. Um, today we're going to do a gonk nail, I was asked by a few people to do one. What is a gonk you might be asking? Well you'll see. Um, so here we are, I am starting with, oh we do also have a, a lovers and haters segment today so stick around for that, stick around. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm starting, this is not the gonk nail, that was misleading. This is dusky pink, right. Um, I'm going to do a, it's like a knitted heart, um, as we know if you've been watching, I've mastered knitted nails now, I did one that looked okay and now I'm, I've declared myself the master, I haven't really. Um, so I'm doing a heart in pink first in dusky pink that's going to be cured I did sit down to do stop shouting to do a gonk set or do a gonk base a set sort of around it just color wise did the gonk then did this one and then kind of lost all interest and all creative idea just just it wasn't happening so I sat there for about two hours faffing about trying different things and then I took to the interwebs for some inspo and just wasn't feeling it. The, the mojo was not there so I stopped and just gave up. Um, but I hope you like these two anyway. So I've cured the dusky pink and I'm going to surround it with Penelope. While I'm doing that we have an episode of Lovers and haters, lovers and haters, lovers and haters, it's lovers and haters, it's lovers, that you get the idea. Um, don't really have a hater, but a comment that I'm going to qualify as one because there was nothing else. Um, so we had some nice comments. We have a new subscriber, Glam Therapy, who said that she likes my candor and explicit language. Fucking thank you very much. Um, <laughs> thanks for subscribing. Um, Laura McWilliams said that she hasn't done... Uh, started her own channel because of her voice and now she uh, would say you definitely an inspiration and confirmation that I can yes yes you can if you want to do a channel you got to do a channel okay don't worry about what anybody else thinks because it doesn't matter you do it for you and let me know if you uh, when your channel's up and running and I will head over and subscribe um, so the hater but not really a hater but you know unnecessary comment uh, was Chris Tina Williams said, I hate when people talk with their hands, like the nails though. So I replied. Um, <laughs> now, this section is not to incite hate. Uh, I'm going to top this now with diamond glass, of course, of course. And I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to top the heart with make it velvet. So we're all caught up. Um, this section is not to incite hate. I don't encourage anyone goes and replies to her. It's just to show people that if you're reluctant to have a channel because of negative comments, don't be. Laugh at them, delete them, block them. I hate that people might not have a channel when they want one because they're worried about that. Don't be. Their opinion means nothing. Um, so you do you and you have your channel. We have a comment from Iki Tiki who says you could maybe think about a P.O. box to get mail and packages from us, your lovely fans. You are lovely, although I'm under no illusion that fans is the right word. That's a bit of a stretch. Subscribers, yes. Gang friends, hell yes. Um, so what I'm doing now, I'll get back to that in a sec. Um, I'm taking <sighs> dusky pink and I'm going to outline the heart and then I'm going to pour some of this clear, cheap, unbranded acrylic that I bought from eBay about, you know, 3000 years ago. Um, and I'm going to pour it over the uncured outline here. I don't, I'm not an acrylic tech, so don't judge the acrylic or do whatever um and then i'm going to cure that and dust it off and then i'm going to do a knit pattern in the pink polish as well and then do the same with that i did the outline and cured that first just in case i cocked up the knit pattern um and then yes so cover that in that and then cure that we get comments like this from yala kayla kale um I think YouTube is in, sort of is quite good at deleting all those sorts of comments or blocking them. I think they're bots, but I reply to them anyway because there's got to be a human somewhere looking at them. Um, oh, this is my favourite comment. Um, it says, my husband sang Diamond Glass, of course, of course, all day yesterday. This is your fault. <laughs> 
I take full responsibility. I'm not sorry. He's a keeper. Uh, we, we also have a question from Victoria Feezy says, how long have you been doing nails? Um, I passed my course in the summer of 2014. So six and a half years, although I didn't have my first client until I think September for some reason. I think I was working somewhere else. Um, so yeah, about, well, still about six and a half, no, six and a bit years. Um, yeah, came at it a bit late in the game, but glad I got here eventually. Uh, so I'm now doing my little knit pattern, just the kind of classic down, diagonally across, down, and then using the top, the next, the top bit of the next one goes into the middle of the one before. You can see. Uh, I'm doing some straight lines either side. I think I did try and do a different pattern first, which is why I'm glad I had um, poured the powder, the acrylic powder over the outline first, because I did want to wipe the middle. Uh, so I'm doing this all in one go and then didn't know what to put there. So lines it was. Lines are fine. Um, with regards to, I did just cut. I'm back. Um, with regards to the comment about the P.O. box, I, this is, I need your guys' advice. Do I, is that something, am I meant to have one of those? Is that something that people with channels have? What do you want to send? Should I be scared? Um, I think, oh, do you know what would be really cool? Postcards. Have a P.O. box, have postcards, but send a postcard that's like, got your town or your, <laughs> got your full address, um, got like your town or your country on it and, um, just things that are like the epitome of your country. So mine would have, I don't know what, fish and chips, crumpets, roast dinner. I think I'm hungry. Um, and I could just collect them as little keepsakes, but I don't, I don't know. Is this something that people are meant to have? Let me know. If, if more than, if more than 10 people, I don't know, want to send something, <laughs> I'm not asking for anything. I certainly don't expect anything. But if 10 people want me to have a P.O. box, if that's the norm, I don't know. I don't understand the YouTube decorum. Um, then I'll get one. We'll see what happens. So I'm starting this gonk now. Um, let me find a picture to show you of a gonk. So this is a gonk. It's basically a gnome looking thing who needs to pull his hat up. Pull your hat up. Man, you can't see where you're going. There's an accident waiting to happen. I see a lawsuit in his future. I also Googled what um, England's national animal was. Fucking lion. Which, as soon as I saw, I knew. Three lions. Three lions on a shirt. If you're English and you can hear that song without getting a single goosebump, just leave. Get the fuck out of here. Not that I give a shit about football. I actively dislike football. Um, but yes. So... Gonk hat. <laughs> this hat, I put it in the lamp and when it comes out, it's taller and thinner. It's witchcraft. I've no idea how it happened. Um, but yes, so our animal is a lion. We also have a lion and a unicorn on the tail side of our pound coins. Can't say I've seen either of them um, wandering around at any point in my life. Um, so yes, this hat, I made it a bit taller and thinner. And now I'm thinking I should have just done the whole nail as like the top of the nail being the bottom of his hat and then great big nose in the middle and then beard. But I I wasn't looking, oh, I always do this. I wasn't looking at a picture. I knew it would have gone better if I was. I had obviously seen a picture and just kind of thought they have a hat and a nose. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I think they're cute as, you know, teddies or toys or whatever they're meant to be but I'm not sure I understand the having them on your nails thing. Uh, so I'm doing his nose. They have big noses, which do sit on. <coughs> oh, just got a pinprick sting in the back of my throat. I'm dying. Um, the nose does sit right under the hat, but we're going to make the trim of his hat um, come down to his nose. So that's why I'm doing it a bit lower. I think I got a bit carried away with the size of his nose. It's huge. He could smell what you had for breakfast last week. Uh, I'm curing the nose and I'm now taking Silver Fox uh, and I'm going to surround just the background. I don't think I put any at the bottom yet. I'm not sure. Oh, fluff. It's fluff season. People start wearing fluffy jumpers and they leave and then they just fluff around for weeks. Um, these are normally done, gonks are normally done on nails with acrylic so they'll build up um, 
like a bead for the nose which I am going to do with gel but then I think with the hat they do kind of it coming down in layers and make it it tends to be the trend of having it in acrylic and it's 3d um but I don't I don't work with acrylic and could could do it with gel I suspect but just yeah I prefer painting than building so we're painting it but I say I do build his nose with some clear builder gel so I'm going to um, finish going around the outside with silver fox um, and then and I did do just one coat of this I think because the white I mean one it probably would have done one coat fine by itself because the colors are really opaque the gel perfection colors which I haven't mentioned yet um, you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code team dg for a discount um, I've had a few questions um, on my facebook page um about some orders and things like that it's not my company i just use them and um i think i'm a brand ambassador for them so um you can contact them through the website the they have a contact form on there uh, if you have any questions with orders not i'm not annoyed at getting questions but obviously i can't i can't really answer them so i'm like i don't know i don't know the answer to that good luck good luck finding out <laughs> um i'm now so i've cured everything and I'm now outlining his hat with Alaska um, and trying to give it some kind of folds. I was going for, what was I, you know the sorting hat from Harry Potter, the way he's like folded down and bent over a bit. I was kind of going for that. Oh, maybe a sorting hat. No, there's definitely going to be more Harry Potter nails in the future. But I am going to be doing a stamping video soon because lots of people have um, asked for it. So we'll do um, a video on stamping, how to stamp, how to sort of resolve issues with stamping. So hopefully that will be able to, that will be of help um, to some people. Uh, so yes, I'm giving him, I'm just doing some sort of wiggles along the center, making the outside when I start to wiggle sort of come out in a little lump so it's not a dead straight line. Again, this probably would have been better if I was had a picture for reference. I must start doing that, mustn't I? Anyway, uh, I cured the outline or maybe flashed the outline and I'm just going to do some little sort of star slash snowflakes um, on his hat. Oh, I, I wish I'd have done like a red, proper red Santa hat on him. I don't know why I didn't. I wanted to do, did you hear someone sneeze just then? <laughs> Bless them. But now, shush. Um, I wanted to do these two pinks, the Penelope and the Dusky Pink. I wanted to do a Christmas set in those colours because I don't think I've done a pink Christmas set. Not for a, a video, anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, yeah, I lost interest. Um, <laughs> and now we have two nails. Uh, so I do have some new goodies to show you, which I think I'll show you on Sunday. Um, and I think I'll do... A design with said goodies um, and then we do have because I had two I had two like I say hater comments hate is a strong word um, but uh, and I saw the first one which was the one I showed you earlier on in this video and then I saw the second one and instead of being like oh got a hater comment which you know I don't feel anymore the first time I was like what the fuck what's your problem um, but now I just, I saw it and I literally went, yes, <laughs> I can do a lovers and haters segment. Uh, and it was, it was this very short sentence. It was barely a sentence and a poorly constructed one at that. Um, and because it was poorly constructed, that's what I went to town on. My reply is very long. Um, <laughs> I had to, I had to, I've had to crop it and put it in a different app to try and get it next to each other because I couldn't screenshot it and have it on one screen um but it's funny so come back for that um I'm now taking builder gel in the color blush I was going to do this in clear because we put the pink color down but I thought this color matched it perfectly that's a lie it was the first thing that my hand pulled out the drawer <laughs> and I thought yes okay we'll do it in this color but you could do it in clear if you've done the pink um, nose to start with so I'm building up um, a bead 
um, like we did for the baubles in the last video. I'll put some links to more Christmas videos um, in the description if you want to have a mooch. Uh, I cured that bead and I'm going to do another one because I thought, well, his nose is big as it is. We may as well make it massive. Um, so put another bead on there and then I think I turn it upside down for a sec um, just to sort of make it a bit more domed and then cure it and that is his schnoz. I'm now topping it with diamond gloss. I mean, uh, for your husband, uh, uh, Mia's husband, diamond gloss, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, I've topped the nose with diamond gloss and cured it and I'm now taking Alaska and I am going to fill in the trim, the fur trim of his hat and I'm bringing it down the sides of his schnoz bow so that it looks like it's falling over his face. Do you know what? Do you know why I think I'm not keen on them? Because it annoys me that his hat's fallen down. And I just find myself wanting to lift his hat up. Pull it up, man. And also, so hang on. I'm hang on. Can you are you alright to just hold on for a sec? Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I'm going to do a bobble on the end of his hat. Uh, and I haven't cured the fur trim or the bobble and I'm going to take Snowball uh, from Diamond Glitters and I'm going to pour it over the wet um, gel here and then and then it will go in the lamp for a minute. It's everything's a minute with um, gel perfection. Uh, and then I thought that it didn't look fluffy enough. I wanted it to look more fluffy, more fuzzy. So once he was cured, I went over, I obviously dusted off um, all the glitter that wasn't stuck where we wanted it. And I went over the, all right, woman, there's glitter on it. Put it in the lamp. Um, I went over the glitter with diamond gloss and then added more glitter to that. And thinking about it, actually, if you're doing a raw glitter, you should put it into no white top coat so that it's you know cured underneath and there's no tacky layer underneath um but sometimes i kind of ignore that i tend to ignore that with doing the knit patterns um i do it with a color because i want it to be that color whereas you should really do it um with a no wipe top coat so that once it's cured it's cured and done um but i don't think i think the acrylic kind of does enough to make that okay it, that's what I'm deciding anyway <laughs> so I am going over this with more glitter um I could have yeah I could have done this differently but uh, and it was fine how it was uh, but I did want it to be a bit more floofy a bit more fluffage so that's going in the lamp and then we will dust that off and then he is finished no he's not I went a step further because whilst I was thinking what can I do on other things <laughs> I was procrastinating and thought no let's just add to stuff we've already done so he is technically finished but I decided to see what he'd look like with a shiny hat off camera and thought yeah maybe I prefer that so cured it so I topped the hat with diamond gloss uh, the light lines a bit wibbly wobbly I might lose some sleep over that uh, so that's these two. I hope you like them. Um, let me know if you have gonks, if you know what gonks are, if you'd heard of gonks before. Um, if you didn't, then I hope you like him. <laughs> uh, come back on Sunday where I have a ridiculously long reply to a very short comment. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. You are awesome. Fact. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.